This is uh, Nellie Deutsch and I'm in the manager practice area on Moodle MOOC 9. I'd like to show you how to delete first of all because you're going to be deleting your work once you add it. So I've added the following blocks on the right and left and just to show you where the right and left are. So these are blocks on Moodle. So we've got blocks on the right and blocks on the left. I'm in as manager, as you can see. So uh, I'm going to turn editing on so I can delete as well as add. So first of all, I'm going to go into, uh, let me point it out to you, uh, right here. I'm going to go into this setting so I can delete. So let's start from the top. I'm going to go into delete latest announcements. And then it's going to ask me, of course, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Next, I'm going to go to this one, same thing. Instead of configuring it or hiding it or assigning roles, I'm going to delete. And the reason I'm deleting is so that you get a chance to add yours. And you're going to be thinking of others so they can add theirs. So actually you're going in one at a time, adding, documenting as you add, and deleting. You don't have to document the process of deleting. Just the process of adding as a manager. Because teachers, unless they're given special rights to edit, notice what happened. If you get something like this, it means that it's already been done, so just keep going back. Don't worry about it. You haven't done anything wrong. It's just Moodle isn't able to handle so many commands at the same time. So if we um, delete twice without really realizing it, we'll get all kinds of error messages. Right, so let's continue as we're deleting. And of course, do it slowly so that you don't get the system all mixed up. Notice I've uh, deleted all the blocks, but these blocks you cannot delete. If you go into them, you'll see configure the block. And the only thing you can do is um, change it where it appears. Okay, it's already given, but you can make it visible or not visible on in this area. But, but that's it. So if you make it invisible, or if you hide it, you'll be able to bring it back as well. So that's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do, of course, and that everyone can do is dock. When you dock, it's a lot better. All right, so let's um, undock these, where I bring them back, and take a look at the blocks. These are the blocks. You can see the blocks. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn editing on. You can see it's on. And then you're going to go into Topic 1. Under Topic 1, you're going to go into Edit right here. Okay, click on Edit Section. And this time you'll be able to add your name. So let me add Tom here, since I'm in this Tom. Okay, there we go. Right, now in the zero topic, I'm going to add this video. So stay tuned, I'm going to give it a title. Let me give it a title. By the way, you can give a title rather than name, but in this case, it's better if you give a title, a name, and then you can add your work there because it's your section, topic section. So I'm going to call this instructions for the M a manager practice area and then I'll add the video once it's uh, complete right so that's it another thing you can do 
uh, let me go back, is um, with the uh, topics, and let's click on it here, is uh, you can change the font color. So I'm going to make it white. And you can change the background. I'm going to make it red. A lot of things you can do as the manager of a course. In fact, you've got so much um, available to you. You can also go into course administration and um, add users and go through all of this. I suggest you wait for it and uh, focus on adding and deleting blocks in week three. So let's add activities. You click on activities. That's the first block and you're going to document your work as you do it. And you can see that this is the activity block. Okay, once uh, I do that, I'm going to delete so that I don't uh, prevent others from adding blocks. So you add all the blocks, take a look at them, add them, and then delete them. There are quite a few of them, so you might want to pick and choose and not go through all of them. Once you get the idea, I think um, you'll understand how they work. In um, week four, you'll start your own courses and have the rights there so you can uh, continue learning about manager rights in a Moodle course. So that's it. Looking forward to seeing your name at it and um, your work. Before we go on, I'm going to delete this. If you want it back, you'll have to um, look for the uh, announcement, latest announcement, and then you'll get the news added. That's it. Bye for now.